Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be sharing some treats that are 4th of July themed that you can make for your family or bring to any of your 4th of July get-togethers, anything like that. Um, and then I'm also sharing with you a couple craft ideas um, that are kid-friendly craft ideas that the kids can make with you. And so hopefully these give you some ideas on things that you can do either for your 4th of July get-together or beforehand. Um, I know the 4th of July is coming up in just a few weeks here, so I thought I'd give you some ideas and I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so I am making a fun little 4th of July themed drink that is um, non-alcoholic so kids can enjoy it. You can for sure make it alcoholic, I, I am sure, for adults, but this is non-alcoholic choice. Um, and what I did was I just poured some red Gatorade and some blue Gatorade into my ice tray here. So this is the blue, this is the red, and I froze it. And then I also just have some regular ice with, you know, just water, um, ice cubes. And I have a clear glass here and I'm going to put the blue and red and regular ice cubes into the glass and then you can pour whatever kind of clear drink you want. I mean I guess it doesn't have to be clear but if it's clear it's easier to see the ice cubes, the colored ice cubes in it to make it red, white, and blue. So um, you could use this, some sparkling water. Um, I'm using Sprite and then um, just put the ice cubes in, pour in your clear liquid and enjoy a fun 4th of July themed drink. And here is how they turned out at first the um, Gatorade cubes felt like soft like they didn't freeze all the way but they definitely did <laughs> so that was good otherwise um, I think they turned out cool I think it would have been better if I would have gotten the darker blue Gatorade but I couldn't find any at the time but it still looks pretty cool and the kids are already excited to give them a try so um, definitely give these a try for 4th of July or really any holiday and you could even switch up the colors of the Gatorade cubes in here for anything really um, if you wanted to do like Easter colors or something or rainbow colors or whatever um, that would be fun as well so give these a try all right so I'm gonna make some 4th of July um, brownies and I'm gonna make it real simple because I'm just gonna make it out of a box but you could obviously make them from scratch if you'd like um, but I'm gonna keep it simple <laughs> And so I'm just gonna make these brownies according to the box here. And so I'm gonna need three tablespoons of water, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and then two eggs. And then I'm also gonna add a couple tablespoons of hot cocoa mix to mine, as well as some of these red, white, and blue M&Ms. Um, if I had any, I would also add some um, chocolate chips as well, but I don't have any, so this is just what I'm going to be adding to my brownies to spruce them up and add the red, white, and blue M&Ms to make them 4th of July, and we will be all set.
So I got my batter into the pan here. I'm just waiting for my oven to preheat. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and about 10 minutes before they're gonna be done, I am gonna add a few more of these red, white, and blue M&Ms to the top and then I'll put them back into the oven for the rest of the 10 minutes and then let them cool, cut, and enjoy. So these are done and out of the oven, so I just have to let them cool and then I can cut them and we can enjoy our festive brownies. All right, so I am making 4th of July sprinkle cookies and to get started with these cookies, you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and make sure you have your cookie sheets prepared. So either lining them with parchment paper, a Silpat baking mat, greasing them, Whatever you need, make sure your cookie sheets are prepared. And then the next step is going to be creaming together three quarter cups of unsalted butter that's been softened and three quarter cups of granulated sugar. And once the mixture is creamed and fluffy, we're gonna mix in the rest of the ingredients. Now you are going to want to add in one large egg, one large egg yolk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then you're going to want to mix that together until it is smooth. then going to want to mix in a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and then um, mix those together. You are then going to want to slowly mix in two cups of flour just until combined. Then you're going to want to add in one and a half cups of sprinkles and you can change the color of the sprinkles depending on what you're making the cookies for. You could do rainbow, you can do any color you want for whatever holiday. Um, since I'm doing 4th of July, I'm doing red, white, and blue. I'm not doing quite a cup and a half. I'm doing closer to maybe just a cup of sprinkles. So I'm going to go and mix these together and then they'll be ready to get put onto the cookie sheets and baked. <laughs> So here is how it looks all mixed together. So I'm going to now scoop balls of cookie dough about two tablespoons each and place them about two inches apart on my prepared cookie sheets. And then I'm gonna bake them for nine to 11 minutes or until bottoms just start to turn golden brown. And um, also the recipe suggested that having them a little underdone was better than having them just right. 
just a little tidbit. Um, but then once they're cooked, you're going to cool them for five minutes on the cookie sheet before removing. All right, and here's the cookies all done out of the oven and ready to enjoy. They do have just a light brown bottom to them. And so they are ready to enjoy. All right, so for this first craft, I just um, cut out my own stars, as you can probably tell, because they're not very pretty, but they're stars. So I cut these out of some poster board and just made two of them. And then I took some red construction paper and blue construction paper and just tore it up into pieces. And then I took just some white, just like sketch pad paper and cut that up into pieces. And then you're also gonna need some glue. And all you're really gonna do is just have your kids take the glue stick and take the red, white, and blue paper and just stick it all over your star.
so here is how their stars turned out. This one is Hunter's and this one is Jordan's. So for this next craft, you're just going to need a white piece of paper and some red paint, a child's hand, and you're going to want to just paint their hand like you saw me do and put it on the white paper here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these out with some scissors and I'm going to place them on this blue construction paper here. All right, so now that I have these hand prints um, glued onto the blue paper here. I'm going to take some red, blue, and white paint and try to make these look like more like a firework. <laughs> we will see how I do at that. All right, so now these look as good of a firework as they're gonna look. I'm just gonna write Happy Fourth of July with the boy's name and the year, and they will be finished. All right, here is Jordan's. And here is Hunter's. All right, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.